Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to see how to upgrade your ESXi host 6.7 to 7.0 uh, by using the uh, VMware Update Manager. So in in this demo uh, basically we having two ESXi hosts which is running uh, ESXi 6.7 version and we are going to upgrade them to all the latest ESXi 7.0 so uh, this is the demo environment so I'm going to use the default I, uh, iOS image which we, you can download from v VMware and if you have any uh, like physical machines uh, uh, you can go ahead and get the vendor specific um, uh, model you can say the model specific um, custom image from the VMware to apply those images on your ESXi host like if you have a HP or UCS any any blade server or any rack server you can go ahead and download the custom image from their vendor website itself uh, that that also um, give you the uh, latest firmware and compatible base basically latest and compatible vendors uh, a specific a specified firmwares driver and other things which is compatible with the current ESXi version which you are going to upgrade so those upgrade and firmware is all already tested with the correct uh, with the uh, current version of ESXi host which you are going to do so always always remember if you are going to do apply on on a physical machine you go ahead and download the specific iOS image from the vendor website or itself so let's get it started so before before you you plan for the ESXi upgrade you need to make sure which ESXi you are currently running and if that current ESXi does support our uh, in place upgrade or you can say upgrade matrix to the latest um, VMware or uh, ESXi host which you are installing so basically you can see if you are running anything anything from 6.5 u2 you can go ahead and upgrade it to 7.0 so in my environment I am running um, um, 6.7 u3 the most latest one so we, we can easily go ahead and upgrade it to the latest version and for example if you are running if you are running 5.5 .5 and you want to upgrade it to 7.0 then you have to upgrade it to first you, uh, you can say 5.5 uh, you can upgrade it to 6.5 u2 and then you can go ahead and upgrade it to from u 6.5 u2 to 7.0 so this is the upgrade path which is going to be supported by vmware itself so you need to follow those metrics to upgrade esxi host yeah so this is demo infrastructure which we are going to use in this video so the first machine is my uh, win take uh, win 10 console which is my console machine basically uh, this is a windows 10 machines uh, from where we are going to run the upgrade and we are going to access the vcsa infrastructure and all so the second server is my domain controller which is win 2k12 dc01 this is my domain controller which is running active Acti and dns and the third one is my iSCSI server which is providing the iSCSI storage or you can say iSCSI learns to my ESX host uh, which they are using for the data store to store the virtual machines and uh, this one is my uh, fourth one is my mm, INVCSA01 which is our ESXi uh, our basically uh, VCSA which is uh, VMware vSphere appliance which is running uh, version 7 and this is a basically li Linux based appliance not a Windows vCenter server traditional so and last we have two ESXi hosts which is both is running uh, 6.7 ESXi host so let's jump and see the infrastructure so if I talk this is my domain controller and DNS which is running on Win2K12 DC01 you can see the IP address and all this is my iSCSI server which is providing iSCSI storage to my ESXi host you can see Win2K12 iSCSI and if I go to files and storage iSCSI you can see it's providing four LUNs to my ESX prod cluster and these are my two ESXi hosts which is you know, v running VMware ESXi 6.7 so prod ESXi 1 and prod ESXi 2 and this is my Windows 10 client machine from where I am accessing basically uh, my v uh, 
V center console or you can say V spare console. So this is my IN VCSA01 which is my uh, VCSA and I got uh, which is running uh, version 7 and I got two my ESXi host in one cluster which is prod cluster and you can see prod ESXi01 and this is running 6.7 and prod ASXI02 which is running also 6.7 so we are going to upgrade these two host to the uh, ASXI host to the 7.0 ASXI so first thing which we need we need a ISO file which we need to upload so I'm going to just attach my ISO here yes, so let's go to the DVD drive and if I go here ASXI you can see here VMware vvisor installer 7 is there so just go here and I'm going to click on menu and then we have a lifecycle manager from the lifecycle manager we can basically import the ISO so I'm going to import my ISO so ISO and file or so I'm going to import 7.0 so now you can see it's uploading uploading the files to the uh, server uh, VCSA server so it's going to take some time and once the upload is completed we can go ahead and create a baseline image which we can go ahead and deploy to the ASXI host so let's wait for upload to finish so now you can see the import is completed and it's adding to repository now step 2 it's going to take few seconds only so now done you can see we got ESXi image here and the product VMware ESXi 7.0 it's got the version vendor details and all other details creation it when we created this so uh, now I'm going to baseline and I need to create one new baseline so I'm going to create new baseline and just give you need to select the upgrade and I'm going to type ESXi 7.0 and click next and select the ISO which we have 7.0 ISO and just click on finish so now we got one upgrade uh, baseline now we can go ahead and add this to our ESXi host so first I'm going on my prod ESXi01 you can see few VMs are running there so I need to put this machine on uh, maintenance mode so I'm just going to attach my baseline first so ESXi7 click on attach and then I'm going to put this machine on maintenance mode It's going to ask you like what you need to perform with the power of and suspended machine so go click OK so now you can see it's relocating the VMs and if I go now here it's going to put the ESXi host in maintenance mode so 53% is completed now you can see status is maintenance mode now we can go ahead and click on update and then you can see the installed version and now I'm going to select my attached baseline and go to click on remit it and I accept the license term click OK and now this is the host which we are going to patch upgrade basically right now so it's going to install the ESXi version 6.7.0 with build number this so go ahead and click on remit it so now you can see remitted entry started and soon it's going to ESXi host prod ESXi host 01 is going to reboot so if you are running um, like uh, in a physical machine uh, your ESXi you must need to have a console for the physical uh, physical uh, server like uh, maybe a rack or maybe a blade server you need a console to those physical machines so in case anything goes wrong you can go ahead and take the console and check the what's going on the on the physical machine itself so uh, basically it's going to reboot so now you can see it's uh, it's uh, stuck on 47 percent so f uh, on the 47 percent basically it's going to trigger the reboot for the ESXi host 
it's going to take some time so current version you can see VMware is success 6.7 and once uh, post the reboot it's going to convert it to the upgraded to the VMware ESXi 7.0 so now you can see it's loading VMware ESXi now you can see VMware ESXi 7.0 so the upgrade is completed successfully it's just going to wait for some time to get the machine completely up and then we can see the status in a vCenter server VCS itself it's going to show you the ESX version 7 so it's going to take some time to complete the booting process so now you can see the boot is complete for ESXi host and we got VMware ESXi 7.0.0 so this is good and now you can see the immediate is also going to finish soon so it's 89 percent so now you can see it's completed and now if I go here and you can see this machine is uh, now VMware ESXi 7.0 so we can go ahead and reset to green the power state and I can go ahead and move this machine now in a exit from the maintenance mode so similar way now we can go ahead and upgrade our second ESXi host which is ESXi 02 so I'm going to put this machine in maintenance mode so now it will take some time to migrate the VMs so I'm going to pause the recording so you can see now it's moving the last machine which is INVCSS 70 so it's going to take some time uh, since this machine is like uh, quite heavy machines uh, if you compare with the other machine in, in memory and all so it's going to take some time so now you can see all the VMs has been migrated and e prod ESXi 02 in, is now in maintenance mode so we can go ahead and run the upgrade so I'm going to attach the baseline so attach baseline ASXI 7.0 just click on attach and then select the baseline and click on remit it so I accept the license terms click next and this is going to be installed this ASXI release 7.0.0 so good just go ahead and click on remit it and now you can see the task has been initiated so similar to yeah, prod ESXi 01 it's going to take 5 to 10 minutes to get the upgrade done and reboot the host so I'm going to pause the recording till the time it's going to apply the pa apply the upgrade and reboot the host so so now you can see our prod ESXi 02 is also upgraded to VMware ESXi 7.0.0 so we are good with both the host and now if I go and see the baselines go to upgrade and see the baselines you can see compliant two host uh, all two hosts are going to be compliant and all two hosts are running 7.0 so this is good and now we can go ahead and remove this machine from maintenance mode so same way if you have a multiple host in your cluster on an environment you can go ahead and do the upgrade one by one on all the ESXi hosts by using the update lifecycle manager which we just did so so this is all about upgrading your ESXi host from 6.7 to 7.0 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye